What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. As a kid, I sure ate my fair share of candy. Some notable examples, we have Butterfingers, Shock Tarts, remember those? Milky Way, Warheads, and I'd be a Wall Street scoundrel if I didn't mention Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. But the problem with candy is an adult that's trying to build muscle and stay lean is that really after a couple pieces, all you're doing is filling your body up with sugar and no protein. You ain't doing nothing for that temple of yours, that sweet body. Mwah. But today, I'm gonna show you guys how to have your candy and eat it too. In this video, we will be making anabolic Reese's peanut butter cups. Simple and delicious bite-sized treats that are loaded down with rich chocolate and creamy peanut butter. If you've been wanting some Reese's peanut butter cups, but you don't want to have to call off work the next day, then look no further than this video, because I'm telling you, it just might change your life. And you already know, man, this recipe, along with every other recipe that I drop on this channel, is available in the RJF Anabolic Cookbook. An easy to use guide, right in your pocket, man. Take it to the store with your grocery list, make your own meal plan. My entire channel is condensed down right in here. If you're one to eat the foods you love, still make gains, stay lean, and be on a diet that you can actually enjoy and make a lifestyle, then I'm telling you, this could change everything. You get it one time, you get every future recipe I have for free. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! So around the start of the new year, I told you guys my goals of my physique. Over Christmas break and into the new year, I ended up gaining like three to four pounds. And I made a full day of eating video. I outlined what my goals were. Create a calorie deficit, hit my protein goal, hit my calorie goal every single day, which is what I preach on the anabolic diet in almost every video. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've been doing that. I've lost all that weight, so I'm down four pounds as of this morning, sitting at 174, and I'm gonna do a physique update. Whoop. Baby, comment below right now what you think my body fat percentage is at. If I had to guess, probably like 12 or 13%. I hold my trouble fat right here and right here, which I think uh, most of us do, unless you have really good genetics. So in no time at all, I was able to get my beach body back. I do still wanna drop a couple more pounds, but we'll do that over the coming weeks. And it's really not that hard. Like I always preach, man, it is consistency over everything. Do what I tell you in these videos, eat anabolic and you can't lose. So comment below what body fat percentage you think I am and now let's get on to these peanut butter cups. Come on. All right, guys, this recipe is wicked simple. We are gonna start off with a mini muffin tray and we're also gonna need a pack of mini muffin liners. These come in packs of 100, so you buy it once for a buck, you're gonna have it forever. I'm just gonna go in with my liners and fill about 10 of these slots with them. You can make more, you can make a little less if you want, depending on how big you want your cups to be, but I think 10 is the perfect size. And now to prevent sticking, I'm gonna hit each of our paper liners with a quick spray of nonstick spray. Boom. Bingo. And now I'll set this to the side. I'm gonna grab a food scale and a small bowl. And in this bowl, I'm gonna weigh out 42 grams of sugar-free chocolate chips. I like Lily's dark chocolate. It's sweetened with stevia. You can use Hershey's sugar-free if you want. This has the best macros and added fiber. Great flavor, big fan. Weigh out 42 grams. And then on top of that, we're gonna add 51 grams of Hershey's light chocolate syrup. I use the sugar-free in a lot of different recipes, but the light for this one works better because you're just gonna get better flavor. Sugar-free will work too though if that's what you got and you'll save some calories but this light version if you want the flavor is where it's at and now i'm just going to give this a quick shake to make sure our chocolate syrup and chocolate chips are all kind of sitting together now i'm just going to toss this bowl in the microwave for about 45 seconds until all of our chocolate is melted Chocolate is melted. Now, we gotta move quick and add in 16 grams of a chocolate whey protein powder in here. The reason we gotta move quick is this chocolate is melted. It's gonna be way easier to spread if we can take advantage of its liquid-like nature. Now we're just gonna stir in our chocolate protein powder. If you only have vanilla or the Final Boss whey, that'll work too. This is just gonna give it that extra chocolate kick we want. And I said we gotta move quick and I mean it because this is still liquefied from us melting it. You can spread it after it's firmed up a little bit, but it makes it a little tougher. If you wanna just be able to drip it in, just make sure you kinda of put a hurry on this. I wouldn't microwave it and then come back after five minutes. I just get right to the money. So get in here and put a nice little bottom layer in each one of our cups. As 
So now we got a delicious chocolate base in the bottom of all of our muffin liners. Now we just gotta make our peanut butter topping. And for the peanut butter topping, what we are gonna do is add in 64 grams of PB Fit powder to our bowl. Instead of using regular peanut butter that's gonna load us down with calories, this is gonna be our better alternative. So I'm just gonna weigh this out right in my bowl. And then to mix and thicken it up, we're gonna add in 92 grams of egg beaters or liquid egg whites if you wanna use those. Egg beaters give us the better texture in my opinion. Get that right in there. And now we just go in with a spoon and mix it up till it's a thick, creamy, peanut butter-like consistency. And then now all we gotta do is go in and spoon our peanut butter on top of all our melted chocolate. And then once all of our peanut butter filling is in here, we're gonna go in with our spoon and I just kinda press down and spin it a little bit and that flattens it out, gives it a better look on top, pushes some of that peanut butter to the sides and help gives it that Reese's Cup look with them ridges we love. At this point, our Reese's Cups are built and ready to go. What we need to do is throw these in the freezer for around one to two hours to let them set. You can leave them in overnight if you want. These are literally best from frozen. So just toss them in the freezer, go throw a Frisbee with your dog or by yourself if you're a lonely man. Let them do their thing and then pull them out when they're done. But lucky for me, I think ahead and I have a whole meal prep container full of these things. Let's check them out. So if I just grab one of these right out of here, peel away the wrapper, look what we're left with. Melted chocolate base, creamy peanut butter top, and a nice load of anabolic goodness. Let me lay these out so we can really get a better look at them. And boom, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you anabolic Reese's peanut butter cups. Melted chocolate on bottom, the peanut butter up top, and they're so easy to make, freeze, and eat whenever you're having a craving. And I'm telling you, man, we filled them with protein, filled them with fiber. They're not only filling, but they are absolutely delicious. Trust me, I had about 20 of them yesterday. Woke up today, a new low weight. If you made it this far into the video, smash that thumbs up button for me. Comment down below what you wanna see me make. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I think it's time, ladies and gentlemen, to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag, and try these things together. You guys ready? Let's go. All right, man, let's get it. Before we hop into these, I need a little energy. Been a long day, man. So I'm gonna do a little half scoop of Final Boss Pre. This is great pre-workout, great for a pump, great for some focus, even if uh, you're not working out that day. A little dip and dab won't do you no harm. A little spritzing. At Rainbow Supernova, killer man. Available at FinalBossFormance.com. Could RJ have 10, will save you 10%. And you already know, you already seen them. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, man, we melted that chocolate, mixed it with a little bit of protein, so we got that base, we got that peanut butter protein top. It's that easy, baby. Three, two, one, let go. Mm, just look at that, man. Wow, incredible. Mm. I mean, look at that, bud. That's a gold mine right there. I mean, it definitely tastes like a Reese's peanut butter cup, but it's also like um, ice cream consistency in a sense, man. You leave these out for like five minutes, then you eat them, they get softer from that freezer, they're cold, it melts in your mouth. These really are 10 out of 10, man. Oh my gosh. I ate like 20 of these yesterday. Woke up, new low weight, because I tracked my calories and I tracked my protein. These fit right into a diet. Who'd have thought? Now in this entire recipe, if you make it exactly how I did it, what you end up with for the whole thing, all 10 Reese's cups is only 664 calories, 20 grams of fat, 57 grams of protein, 64 grams of carbs, 27 grams of fiber. So with all that fiber and all that protein, you're gonna be fuller. You're gonna get double what you would've gotten if you would've eaten regular Reese's Cups, except we're not loading these down with sugar, loading these down with unnecessary fat, and we're really uh, helping it work towards our goals. And I wanna stress something to you guys that I found out when I was working on this recipe. A lot of times I'll look at other people's videos, I'll try to get inspiration, just to kind of see how other people are doing things and see what I can tweak and make better. And when I was looking at peanut butter cup recipes, man, here is the problem with everybody's definition of health these days, right? People are telling you they got a healthy recipe. And what they mean when they say that, they don't care about the calories, they don't care about the fat, they don't care about the protein, they don't care about none of it. What they're referring to is healthier, more organic ingredients. And it really blew my mind when I was seeing some of these peanut butter cup recipes where their definition of health was just using natural peanut butter, using like full fat oils, using organic chocolate, and just having no regard for the overall 
overall calories as a whole. They're, te they're marketing it as it's healthy. It's gonna help you lose weight, but yet you'd have been better off just eating the regular Reese's Cups, man. So my thing with these recipes and what I do on this channel, I'm making recipes that actually do work for weight loss, man. Foods are gonna fill you up that are higher in fiber. We're not just using organic stuff and telling you it's gonna work, man. We're making foods that are high in protein that are gonna help us see results as long as you're consistent and you follow the rules that I lay out. So don't be fooled when someone tells you something is quote unquote healthy when all they're really doing is uh, adding maybe a couple more vitamins to it, but the calories are higher, man. It's a scam, I tell you, a scam. All right, man, we are down to the final one. Let's go. Mm, 10 out of freaking 10. Those are incredible, incredible, man. The peanut butter flavor, the chocolate flavor, easy to make a bunch of them in bulk, throw them in meal prep containers, portion them out for meals. You can easily half of that recipe, double it, whatever you wanna do, man. That is uh, incredible. You gotta try that one. You gotta tag me on Instagram. And if you haven't already, you gotta check out the RJF Anabolic Cookbook, man. All these recipes broken down in here, the calories, the macros, the protein. I'm really trying to change the way we think of food. People have a weird idea in their head of what health actually means. They think you just start eating organic foods, you're gonna lose weight. You start eating more vegetables, you're gonna lose weight, and that is not how it works. At the end of the day, the only two things that ultimately matter if your goal is to lose weight and you wanna stay lean or you wanna build muscle is hitting your calorie goal, creating a deficit. For me, that's a 500 calorie deficit. I like to drop a pound a week. If you have more weight than that to lose, you can set even higher deficits, man. You gotta listen to your body, but you gotta hit that calorie goal. Calories don't lie. Law of thermodynamics does not lie. So you do that, you hit your minimum protein goal, and you cannot lose. And if you have a book like this, a guide in your pocket, and you follow and you are consistent, you will see results no matter what. I always stress, don't overthink it. Don't fall victim to these fad diets and everybody telling you, you switch to this diet, you're gonna lose weight. Yeah, those diets might work, but it still all requires a calorie deficit and eating enough protein for optimal fat loss. That's it, at the end of the day, that is it. So check out the link in my description if you wanna check out the cookbook. Every time I do a recipe like this, man, I'm just adding more tools to the arsenal and you get it once, you get every recipe I add for free in the future. We're over 150 pages now and by the end of the year, we'll be over 200 easy, man. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Appreciate you guys as always for watching. Smash that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. It all helps. Any comments too for the algorithm help a ton. Let me know what you wanna see me make on this channel. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Um, there's nothing to clean up on there today. So, um, yep, that's it.